after defeating Kingston 26 to nothing and Walpole 13 to 1 both via a five inning mercy the 16 and 1 Ashland Sevens hosted Hyde Park in the Quad 1 Championship round on Saturday August 8th and it would end up being a battle since it's a two loss elimination format Hyde Park had to beat Ashland twice and Ashland just had to win one game. Game three of the playoffs, bottom of the first. Ashland strikes first. Kaplan gets the sign he likes, Sandy deals. And this is up the left side, past the dive of the third baseman. Here goes Hornung. He's going to take off to second base. The throw in is cut off, and Jackson Hornung is aboard with a two out stand up double. One and one. Light up and the pitch. And Kavanaugh gets a piece of this one. Over to left field it goes. Hornung being waved around. And he is going to come. Dom Kavanaugh tattoos the ball to left field. Jackson Hornung comes around to score. And then Dom Kavanaugh thrown out, trying to go to third to end the inning. Top of the third, Hyde Park, otherwise known as Parkway, manufactures a run. Third inning, a 1 0 Ashland 7's lead. Bases loaded for Parkway, two outs. Swing and a miss, one and two. And they're gonna call him for the block. A run's gonna score. And Coach Obey doesn't like that call. One to one game heading in to the top of the fourth. Parkway struck again. Light up and the pitch. And he'll put this one in the air over to center field. It's caught. Runner from third is going to tag and he will score. And now Parkway leads it two to one. 2-1 Parkway leading into the top of the sixth. There's the 0-1. And the runner taking off. Suicide squeeze plays on. A run will score. Throw to first. They get the out. Now another run. Trying to score at from third, and he's safe. The umpire ruled that the first run did score, but then the second base runner trying to go home was thrown out. There was some tension after with the big collision at home plate. And a little more security in the seventh. And delivers. And he'll get a good piece of this one into left field. It goes. Lead runner being waved around and he will score with ease. An RBI single for Dan Donato. Hit in the air, over to right field. That'll get down for a hit. Another run is in, and the second run are going to be held up. RBI single for Matt Brown. Yeah. And that'll do it. Parkway forces a game tomorrow at 5. The winner of the game tomorrow advances to the final four. Parkway forces the win or go home game, which would take place the following day. Sunday, August 9th, Ashland and Parkway met up in a must-win matchup. Tyler Dossis took the hill for the sevens. Here's a look at what happened. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught by the speedy Sam Farrell for out number three. To the bottom of the first we go. As this is going to be hit up the middle over the reach of the pitcher. The shortstop comes in and is not able to get to the ball. Dante DeAvanzo will start things off with an infield single. And now he's going to take off for second base as the ball got away. And did he get in there? It looks like he did. Last night. But they're going to let this pitcher throw a few, get a look at him. 
try to work him, I think, a little more today as Cavanaugh draws the walk. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis. Two on, two outs. He takes a long look in and is set to deal. And this is hit in the air, past the reach of the shortstop, into center field it goes. Diavanzo being waved around, and he is going to come around and score as the ball is going to be thrown in to the bench area for Hyde Park, and also around to score is Dom Cavanaugh. It is a two RBI double for Tyler Dossis. A two nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. Bottom of the fourth inning, a two to nothing lead for the Sevens. Six, seven, and eight due up as Kevin Balowitz will start things up. And then he's followed by Mason Dushney and Shea Donovan. First pitch from Quinn is a strike. Oh, and one. Well, so far, another uh, pitcher's duel here between Quinn Kelly and Tyler Dossis. Set to deliver. And this is going to be up the middle and bobbled by the shortstop, Balowitz will reach. Line up and the pitch. And this is going to be up the left side and trickle into left field. Lead runner held up at second. And now Balowitz going to advance to third as the left fielder bobbles it, and he is safe. Mason Dushney reaches on the single. Balowitz to third, Shea Donovan to the plate. Like we're going to have a pitching change for Parkway. They're going to bring in Jacob Gonzalez to take over pitching duties for Quinn Kelly, so we'll step aside. And that is outside, Donovan draws the walk. Error. And Calabrese steps in, and he'll get a piece of this one over to right center, and the center field ranges over, it's caught, Balowitz gonna tag and try to score, and the throw in is gonna be cut off, and it's three to nothing. The Ashland Sevens leading Parkway. Nick Calabrese getting the job done, a sacrifice RBI flyout. Alowitz around to score, Dushney up to third. Top of the sixth inning, a three to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. And this is hit in the air, over to left field and caught, one away. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught! What a catch by Balowitz. He fell to the ground reel and that one in, but able to keep it in the glove. And that'll bring up Dan Donato, the center fielder. Top of the seventh inning, Parkway down to their final three outs. Six, seven, and eight do up. Kevin Zarnock, Jacob Gonzalez, and Tommy Goonan. Can Tyler Dossis finish off the game and send the Ashland Sevens to the final four. We shall find out. A three to nothing lead for the Sevens. And this is going to be up the middle and trickle into center field. A leadoff single for Zarnock. That'll bring up Jacob Gonzalez, the DH. Line up and the pitch. There's strike three, one away. And this is hit up the middle into center field it goes. It'll be two on with one out. Slight lead by both runners. And this is hit in the air into left field it goes. And everyone's gonna advance a base. It'll be bases loaded with one out for Parkway. Well, they're not going down without a fight, that's for sure. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to right field. It's caught, runner from third. Thought about tagging, but he will not. A good throw in by Calabrese. Two away, Parkway down to their final out. Sam Petipa coming to the plate. And he'll get a piece of it in a left field. It goes, one run is in to score. And that's all that'll score. It's a three to one game. An RBI single for Petapa. Kevin Zarnock around to score. And he'll get a piece of it into left field and it's caught! And that's your ball game!
game. And the Ashland Sevens have advanced to the final four of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League postseason. They take down Parkway by a final score of three to one. An incredible pitching performance by Tyler Dossis as he goes the complete game. Both teams waving their caps, showing respect. The Ashland Sevens pull off the three to one win and advance on to the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Final Four. With such a tremendous win, we had to get some interviews. The Ashland Sevens get the three to one win over Parkway to advance to the Final Four. And right now we're gonna send it down to our sideline reporter who's with some of the members of the Ashland Sevens team. Bubba, take it away. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Brian Gazzard. Uh, I'm here with Dom Cavanaugh and Tyler Dossis, two members of the Ashland Sevens baseball team. Uh, they played a tremendous game tonight. They got the win over High, High was High Park. Hyde Park. It was uh, it was three nothing, and uh, three one. I'm just gonna start off with Dom here. If you could step into the shot. Um, <laughs> Dom played great today. He had a couple hits. Uh, he just, you know, he's a big energy guy. You can always count on him to show up. Uh, you can look forward next game. He's uh, he's going to be on the bump. How do you feel about that this week going into next week? <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling good about it. Thank you, Dom. Now, uh, enough with Dom. We have the MVP of the game today. His name is Tyler Dossis. Kid played like a freak. Uh, he came out and was just absolutely dominant on the mound. He also can swing the bat. He's kind of a, you know, Swiss Army knife type of dude. Uh, how'd you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, how'd you feel about tonight's game, Tyler? Felt good. Felt confident. You did. You did. Yeah. Uh, how'd you feel? How was the ball coming out? Did you feel something different tonight? <laughs> no, I just felt. <laughs> I felt good. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. I saw you uh you like to listen to music before the game, right? You like to get jacked up. Yeah, I do. What's your go to song, you know, that'll really like uh, get the blood flowing? Kim from Eminem. Oh, you heard it here, folks. Kim from Eminem. Uh I just wanna say thank you to uh H Cam and the entire cast. Uh it's a great, great production agency. Um and yeah, I just uh Ashland Sevens baseball free Bobby Shmurda. Free Bobby Shmurda um <laughs> Great game tonight, 3-1, beat Hyde Park. Peace. Have, have a nice ride home. All right, Coach, uh, great win over a good Parkway team out there tonight and the first two games of, of the postseason. Well, you beat the opponent by a pretty good margin, but you really had to battle this Parkway team. How did it feel after a tough loss last night to come out, get the victory today, and advance to the Final Four? Yeah, I mean, it felt great. We talked. We, we met here at about 3. Uh, and we had a good, <laughs> we had a good talk as a team about responding to adversity um, and not letting the emotions of last night. You were there. It was a high energy, high emotion game. Uh, not letting the emotions of last night get to us too much. Um, and I think we did a really good job of that. We were loose. We were loose as hell. Uh, they were playing the me music as they walked off the field last night, and so we decided to play that throughout our IO, um, just to sort of show them that we weren't going to be phased at all. Um, and then we kept the same energy, and even when the bats weren't as hot as they have been all season, Doss kept picking us up. Uh, Dante was huge today. Just our defense in general is big, and uh, in that last inning with the uh, the winning run on first base, <laughs> we stayed composed and got a big time win. And uh, can you talk about the performance of Tyler Dossis today? Tyler Dossis is the man. Um, we were able to pick him up. Luckily, uh, this off season, and get him, uh, get him in a sevens uniform, and <laughs> and he, uh, <laughs> and I mean his impact not only today but the whole, <laughs> but the whole season has been uh, been unbelievable. I mean, there was no there was no kid I'd rather have than Tyler Dossis on the mound today in an elimination game, and uh, he rose to the occasion, and it was awesome. I'm really proud of him. Really proud of him. And obviously, you guys have a lot of fun out there. Can you talk about what it's been like to coach this group of guys uh, yeah, during man. this very different season? Yeah, I mean, uh, we were saying yesterday, like in a, in a time in our lives that we're going to remember for, for being as far apart, being as divided as possible. 
um, we this this group came together and they became a family and it's been awesome to see it. It's just so much fun. It's just so much fun being with these guys. I feel really, really lucky to to be a, to be a leader on this team. So. Well, Coach, we're looking forward to the Final Four. We'll see you in Quincy next week. Congratulations on a great win. Thank tonight. you, Tom. Appreciate it.